Welcome back, folks. It is your boy, your host, the Wolf of Crypto here. Y'all listen to another episode of the Crypto Millionaire Journey. Today's episode, a project that I am, how can I put this very lightly without putting it too lightly? It's very exciting. It's called Turnt Up Tiki's. It is, yeah, you guessed it, it is a Solana-based project, and my oh my, so far, can't complain, I think these guys got some promise, I think the project overall has some promise, um, really simple concept, but as far as the incentives go and what you can get out of it, like I said, this is one of the reasons why I'm very, very bullish on it, and um been, I would say, be a little bit more active in their Discord community. Been kind of getting some insight, trying to keep up what's going on as far as all their developments. Um, I do know they're doing another Chief Tain Mint tomorrow. Uh, so if you haven't got quite into these particular NFTs or these little tiki's that they have, these turned up tiki's, like I say, I highly suggest you guys check out this project. And, you know, I'm just going to go ahead talk about one what are some of the benefits uh, as far as being you know a turned up tiki nft holder uh go over the to- tokenomics a little bit as well talk about some airdrops uh talk about the token itself because it's actually you know it's on coin market caps on coin gecko uh the value of their token has been fluctuating but i would say the use case for their utility is, uh, I would say, pretty high, especially when they actually start letting us buy these teas with our TUT that we generate on the daily. Um, I think the last current price, if I'm not mistaken, was like around 30 cents. And normally, uh, that particular price normally goes up during, I would say, any mint event. But let's dive in here, folks. Let's talk about turned up tiki. So, if you are a turned up tiki empty holder, you benefit from multiple features, including daily tut uh airdrops that are basically just going into your wallet daily so as you hold these different tiki's chief tames basically your whole village is basically combined with all these different rarities different characters uh you're getting this daily tut that just directly goes into your solana wallet you also get access to an exclusive alpha discord channel this is something that i've been experiencing as being more active in discord uh again access to you know different collaborations different other partner projects just you know potential wins as far as projects that might you know 10x 15x 20x whatever it could be but you get access talk to different people figure out you know what's some of the next projects that are coming on the horizon to obviously start watching um early minting on upcoming nft projects and experience in the turned up tiki's gaming suite access to online tools and more all while being part of you know one of the most active NFT projects on the Solana blockchain, which is a community dedicated to innovating, growing, and educating. Now, as far as turned up tiki's, you hold tiki's, you get tut. Tut is the utility token here, folks. T U T. That is what you can basically once you earn, you can go ahead and jump on one of these protocols such as like Radium or Solape. And if you decide to, you can go ahead and exchange this tut that you are generating for USDC, or you can just continue to stack them, and eventually you'll be able to purchase some different things using the tut, actually. Um, so yeah, so like I said, you are getting daily, daily here, folks, daily tut. Now, as far as the token numbers of tut, like I said, ranking on coin market caps about what? Just under 6,000? Volume not too high, almost around like 10, 10 racks. Um, this is the SPL token that's used in the ecosystem. Like I said earlier, it can be exchanged on Radium and also Soul Swap. Soul Ape Swap, excuse me. Now, you got to keep this in mind to actually be generating all this different TUD from holding these NFTs. You can't list them on the market. So as soon as you start to list them on the market, you won't be generating any tut. So that is the key. Keep these bad boys off the listing if you won't be able to go ahead and generate some tut, which, like I said, right now, you got to get it this way if you earn it. At this early stage, 
and you're able to get, I would say, a, a nice big portion of Tut. And let's just say, you know, eventually, you know, let's just say Tut hits a dollar. Hey, depending on what you're obviously earning based on all your different tikis that's a part of your village, that's what things can kind of get really interesting. And I think that's personally what I'm kind of looking forward to is just to see where this project go, um, how high can this token perhaps achieve. I mean, right now I know the total supply of Tut is 23 million. Um, now you can also use Tut for minting second and third generation turned up Tiki NFTs playing the Tur up Tiki gaming suite, which should be coming up pretty soon here. Um, I did see a couple of announcements in the Discord that uh, is leading to the fact that it should be getting very closely to being done. Um, now, as far as the Tiki's, so there's some levels to this, folks. Uh, you got the Tiki's, you got the Chieftains, and then you got Tiki Gods. And I'm not for sure if they're going to go any more than that. But as far as the Tiki's, these are Generation 1 NFTs. There's over 3,600 in existence that's on the blockchain. Obviously, they vary in rarity, tribe, and uh, SAS. The mint was back in November. You guys can get these on Magic Eden. Um, you can also, as you stack your different uh, tiki's, it's a multiplier on your tut as well. Now, the Chief Tens, uh, these are Generation 2 guys. These obviously will earn you a lot more tut if you're holding these guys. Um, and that's why so key to kind of be part of these minting processes uh, if you're able to actually get some of these chieftains at a lower price compared to going on the market of secondary sales that's something to keep in mind you got thousands of these bad boys um and you also obviously receive airdrop and alpha for being a chieftain or i should say holding chieftains and then generation three is the t gods uh those details are to come but from what I've been reading in the Discord channel and all that good stuff, these bad boys are going to be some key uh, key players in this upcoming gaming suite as well. Now, as far as different tikis and <clears throat> like the uh, different tribes and all that, so depending on the actual tiki, everything comes down to rarity, um, which tribe as far as like multipliers, which is AKA stacks, number of tickets in your wallet. Now, if you got one of those guys that got a blue background, that's common. Anybody with a green background, it's uncommon. Orange is rare, purple, epic, red being legendary. And then I guess you call this like what yellow goldish uh, to be called mythical. Now, depending on which one you have, obviously, Common, you're earning about one tut a day. Uncommon, you're at two tut a day. Rare, you're at three tut. Epic, you're at four. Legendary, you're at five. And then you got mythical, um, which is six, six tut a day. And then basically adding up all your different tiki daily tut generation will give you an idea of your base daily tut. And then if you hold tiki's at match, now you're probably wondering how does the tut multiplier work? Uh, this bad boy right here goes all based off tribes. So you got the Elementalists, uh, they do elements and stuff. You got Berserkers, Crazed Lunatics, Noblest, the Bougie, the Bougie players, and then you got Exiled. Uh, they do Blood Magic or something. And like I said, this is all information that you guys can go ahead and check out on their website. Uh, as they actually did update the website, if I'm not mistaken, change up a little bit. So if you have one Tiki of each tribe in your wallet, you will receive a tut multiplier of 10%, your base daily tut. So keep that in mind. This logic continues. If you were to have twice the tiki's from each tribe, that would create a multiplier of 20%, your base daily tut, so on, so on, and so on. Now, as far as the tiki alphas, uh, these guys generate whew, 15 tut a day. Each tribe has one of one unique alpha tiki. The alphas provide extra bonuses in the turned up tiki ecosystem, as well as generate a ton of tut. That's what we always want, right? Um, so, again, when it comes to stacking, uh, you can stack indefinitely. So if you have four tiki's of each tribe, you will be generating four percent more tut every day. Um, so again, stacking these bad boys is a very key element into generating more tut for yourself. 
Because like I said, as you start to stack these bad boys, and for me personally, I've been just trying to collect each one for each tribe uh, and continue to stack, stack, stack. Uh, been collecting up some chieftains as well. Because uh, I did, I mean, excuse me, I should say ideally, uh, we're able to stack enough tut where we're generating, you know, anywhere from like 50 to 100 bucks. Uh, I feel like that at this key point in time, the development of the project, I feel like that'd be pretty beneficial. Uh, give you a lot of different options to explore as far as if you're able to generate that much and then if you're able to, you know, continue to buy and stack your tiki's um that's kind of what i'm trying to do here i've uh, been kind of switching different strategies of trying to always buy when you know obviously the price of solana's down uh if the floor price is down on uh, terms of tiki's as well trying to you know scoop up tiki's here and there uh because again i mean like i said folks you're earning tut daily like this goes directly into your wallet you don't gotta do anything all you're doing right now is just you're just holding the NFTs. And then as far as buying the NFTs, very easy, very easy. Um, now, the Chieftains, which is the second generation NFT, those tend to be a little bit more expensive. Uh, there's over a thousand. They have 101 attributes. Uh, like I said, the next minting is happening. Uh, depending on where you're at, 10 p.m. UTC tomorrow. Um, so far, they've generated over about 9400 tut and then they have uh five plus perks that are growing same thing with the chief tens everything's based off background um i was actually able unfortunately enough to get a common one from my last mint but chief teens keep the little guys in check after all whoever controls the gold has two in the bush out with the bath water um number of chief tens in your wallet so you got common which is obviously the blue guys and all these Backgrounds, colors, the same thing as far as Chieftains go. Tut, though. Tut. Whew. So if you got a common one, you're generating 8 Tut a day. Uncommon, 9. 10 for rare. 11 for epic. 12 for legendary. And then 13 for mythical. So, whew. But the only thing is, your Chieftains tribes do not count towards the T's Tut multiplier. So that's just something to keep in mind. Now, as far as the utility behind the Chieftains... The real value of holding Tiki Chieftains in your wallet is for the airdrops, the alpha information, whitelisting, protected chat, etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. Analysis will always be made via community channels in the Discord, which items are being used for, which tools, such rewards, giving people time to fire with chieftains with those attributes. And again, there are a lot of different attributes, a lot of different rarities, stuff like that. So you can go ahead, visit all these different sites and, you know, kind of dive into your research to figure out, you know, which rarities you're going to be going after for. Now, the, all the airdrop rewards will be dropped to all chieftains who hold the needy item. So obviously it might be a good idea to stock up on these bad boys. Um, now, somebody got this alpha one, the elemental alpha uh, that sold for, I think it was like 15 or 20. So it was something crazy up there. And each tribe has... Um, one of one and these bad boys are generating 30 tut a day so i think the next one which is the berserker chieftain alpha will be popping up pretty soon um and then as far as chieftain stacks you gotta have one of each chieftain tribe to grant you a stack um so you gotta basically have obviously like i said the same thing with the other ones gotta have one was Elementalist, Berserker, Noblest, and I forget the other tribe. I'm slipping my mind right now. But same thing. So you got to make sure if you're going to try to stack your Chieftains, which is something I'm obviously going to try to do because you earn a little bit more tut, uh, you got to make sure you have one of those bad boys from each tribe. Now, as far as buying the NFTs, it's pretty easy. Um, like I said, you can go to right now, go to Magic Eden. Uh, floor price has been going up. Uh, this is something that I've been paying attention to, um, especially since you know the project first dropped. Floor price has been, I think this is the highest I've seen it so far here. It's at about 1.07. Um, so again, that's something I'm always constantly watching, kind of coming back here. Because like I said, this project, man, I mean, for what they're doing, how active they are, uh, I think for me, at least personally, 
uh, my type of return, my investment has been, been pretty solid. I mean, obviously, I can't complain too much. Um, and you know, still, I mean, they still haven't developed other things that are going to are gonna be a part of this project as well. So, again, next two or three months, obviously, this is going to be one of my favorite projects to kind of just watch, keep up, keep uh, keep tabs on. Um, just for the fact that, you know, I'm going to be stacking up all these different tiki's, growing my village. And at this point, really, uh, if I'm able to get enough where I'm able to generate enough to where, you know, like I said earlier, we're bringing in, you know, a nice chunk of change. Obviously, that's where things can change because at the end of the day, I can always, if I want to sell some or take some of that tut that I'm generating daily, I can always move some of those, uh, some of the allocation into Solana itself and just have some money that's going into Solana as I'm generating tut every day. So, again, there's just so many different avenues that you can start to explore once you actually get part of their ecosystem. And again, I highly suggest you guys uh, get involved on their Discord channel if you can, because like I said, a lot of good information. And then as far as the alpha stuff, man, um, that's where that's where everything is really the beneficial part of having some of these chieftains, because now you're getting exposed to other projects. You know, these projects might be a partner project, might be a collab. And depending on you know where you are in the turned up Tiki ecosystem, you might be able to get whitelisted, you know what I'm saying? So, like I said, as far as the turned up Tiki's and their token, I personally see that this has a lot of utility. Um, and then, again, as far as this rewards, like I said, just for holding the NFT, not doing anything, that's one of the other reasons why I just figured, you know what, let's go ahead, let's jump in, let's see where this project could particularly take me. Because right now, with all my different Tiki's, that I'm currently holding. Uh, my daily tut is somewhere. I think I'm almost at like 60 tut a day, which, you know, ain't too shabby. I mean, of course, if you were to take that same amount, if we were to head over and let's see, we go ahead and type this in at these current prices of like about 30 cents. So we're looking at, you know, generating about 20 bucks worth of tut a day on these current prices so could you imagine if that same 70 tub and the price of it was a dollar i mean like i said potential here folks very a lot a lot of potential but that's going to really wrap it up as far as this episode goes on turned up tiki's again this is a solana based project um of course you're going to need a solana wallet and if you haven't heard of Turned Up Tiki's, uh, definitely check them out, man. Um, like I said, I haven't had really too much complaints about the project. Uh, and I feel like this could be one of those projects that, you know, could blow up Solana. Um, just about the ecosystem. But at the same time, man, you're on the NFT and you're getting something back from it. Um, so that's something I've been kind of exploring. There's another project I'll be talking about here pretty soon on the show uh, is finding these just a variety of NFT projects where if you are holding this NFT, you might, you know, get something from it. There's some type of incentive, there's some type of feature, whether it be getting that particular token, whether it be being access to airdrops, uh, alpha channels. I mean, there's so many benefits that come from just holding these, you know, certain particular NFT projects. And I'm at the point now where you know, especially since I'm doing a lot more interaction on Solana blockchain, uh, my goal, I would say, is to have at least a six-figure worth value of digital NFTs. And that could come in all sort of varieties. Um, but Turned Up Tiki's folks, check them out. Solana blockchain, right now, 30 cents. So, again... You come back maybe to this episode in the next, I don't know, month or two, and we could be talking about turned up tickets and the particular price of the token could be 50 cents, could be 45 cents. Hell, it could be 75 cents. I mean, some of us probably wishing it'd be a dollar. But again, with the volume right now, it's still low volume, not not too high of a supply as far as the tug goes. Like I said, it's only about 22, 23 million. 
Um, so very low supply on that. So yeah, so that's gonna wrap it up as far as this episode goes. Turn to Tiki's here, folks. Check them out. Uh, on my next episode, I think I might be talking about another project that's, of course, on Solana blockchain. It is an NFT project. Um, it's called Soul Vikings. Um, I actually just got airdropped my, I think it was like a golden ticket. Another project that has some similar features as far as, you know, all the different benefits and incentives from just holding the NFT itself, but also has an interesting gaming twist to it as well. Uh, so you will be able to actually use some of these, you know, different Vikings that you're collecting. Uh, but again, like I said, I'll save all that good old information for the next episode. Uh, I do appreciate you guys tuning in, listening. I hope you guys have learned some things. Hope you guys are making some money as well, because I feel like mm, if you've been following any of my channels, uh, there's some there's, there's some plays I have dropped out there for y'all. Because um, again, you know, the crypto space is huge, as we know, and there's a lot of different platforms that I'm still trying to catch up to and explore. Uh, but again, folks, Turned Up Tiki's is on the Solana blockchain. You heard it here first. Check them out, especially if you guys are trying to get into the NFT space. NFTs are still relatively on the cheap side. I mean, right, like I said, right now. Um, but obviously, that can all fluctuate and that can all change within you know, the next two or three months. But this is your host, the Wolf of Crypto Man. Y'all been listening to another episode of the Crypto Millionaire Journey. And until the next time, take it easy, y'all. Peace.